Group Llandreithlo Menai. Arwell Rhys Williams, Karen Vaughan Jones. Yn dechfwr iawn am y gwahoddiad yma heddiw um, Arwell Dwi Rheol o'r Dysgu ac Ydysgu um, Grŵp Llandreithlo Menai. Thanks for the invitation today. I'm Arwell, a teaching and learning manager for Grŵp Llandreithlo Menai. And this is Karen, who is a teaching and learning mentor within the group. And she's going to talk about the work she did with the pilot group in a few slides time. Um, in terms of the aim for our experiment then, it was to develop excellence in teaching and learning by disseminating good practice using a teaching TV staff development tool. And this is really important to us because we were a newly merged group covering a huge geographical area, 12 main college sites, and we needed to make sure that any resources were fully accessible to everybody right across the group. Our first objective was, first of all, to identify excellent practitioners in some key areas that I'll mention in a second. Um, who achieved excellence in these areas during the observation cycle in the, in the previous year. We wanted to capture best practice in differentiation, formative assessment and improving literacy by video. And that's the main thing from this um, project really, is developing and using videos to share best practice right across the group. We wanted to start off small, so using the videos then, Karen worked with a group of staff in her department to pilot the use of these videos before we then rolled out the training right across the group um, after learning the lessons from the, the, the pilot group, first of all. We also wanted to develop a format for disseminating good practice. So, like I mentioned, to share the videos right across the group, we had to have an area that was fully accessible to all staff um, in terms of using and accessing the resources, and also to review the impact of all the work that we did to see whether it made any difference to anything. I'm going to hand you over to Karen, who's going to talk about the work she did with the smaller group initially. Yeah. Thank you, Arwell. Uh, I think the most important thing that we initially did was an audit with certain faculties to find out what the problem areas were. This ensured that we had full engagement from the tutors because we were actually listening to what they were saying. And the problem areas, as Arwell referred to, were differentiation, literacy and formative assessment. We then targeted a specific programme area of which I'm a member of, and I think that definitely helped because staff felt that they could approach me and find out what I did for those key areas. And then I could share their good practice and share some of the ideas that Arwell had given us from the conference. Um, the most important thing for me was the focus group with the learners because we're actually listening to what the learners were saying. And what they found was that the new ideas that they'd been delivered in the classroom were actually really good. And the feedback from that was really important. Most of that feedback from the focus group, the learners and the tutor and what I'd observed in peer observations were then fed forward to the actual whole college staff development. And then we were involved in a huge dissemination from what we'd learned across the college because it's an actual massive college now with lots of challenges. Uh, the materials were made available, and I was going to talk a little bit about where they were made available. So one of the objectives was to come up with a format to share, a platform to share these resources right across the group. And this is what we have now in the group. So we have these tiles that have different areas within them. We have teaching and learning at the top there. And if we click into that, then there's a list of the areas that we're looking at at the moment. And you'll see formative assessment and differentiation in that. So if you were to open the differentiation or click on that link, okay. it then opens up this where all of the videos are stored for everybody to see right across the group. All right? um, in terms of the outcomes then, formative assessment workshops have been delivered by the mentors, Karen being one, to 516 staff right across the group over 12 sites. Differentiation to 618 staff right across and the literacy marking video guide we have is available also on the same platform to all staff. Um, in terms of the impact, we measured against the observation data last year to see whether there's any improvement. And we're very happy to say that in differentiation this year compared to last year, we've seen a 12% increase in excellent judgments awarded for differentiation, 8% increase for formative assessment, and for literacy development, 16% increase. But we have to say, for literacy development, there's been lots of other training going on as well outside of this project, but we were part of that. So we're very, very pleased, really. It's made a big difference, and it's given us a focus on teaching and learning right from the start for the new group. In terms of the strengths, then, 
I think it's crucial, we discussed this in the early days, it's crucial to have full buy-in from senior management, and I think we really did with this. I was asked to give regular updates at key meetings, which really helped to keep momentum going. The use of the pilot group, the work that Karen did was really crucial, and I thank her very much for her hard work for that. And delivering right across the college was a massive strength for us, you know, over such a huge geographical area. Yes, there were weaknesses. The video editing process took a long time, partly because I couldn't do it myself, and I had to kind of ask other people to help me. The observation cycle doesn't end until the end of February, so we've been frantically trying to gather this evidence to show that we've had an impact. Um, but moving forward, I think it's something that we want to do more of in the future. It's certainly way ahead for us. And um, yes, and thank you very much for the opportunity, like was mentioned before. Thank you. Yeah.